Okay, so I got a very common question here. How to take your rendered animation from Maya and make that into a movie to upload it to YouTube or whatever else? So I'm actually doing this through Vision software on a student's computer, so hopefully this all works out fine. So we're going to go launch Adobe Premiere, and they're all apps. Adobe Premiere, it's got a purple icon. I have Photoshop still open, so if you want to close that. Yeah, we don't need Photoshop or Maya open at this point, so we'll just close that base. It does take a little while for a premiere to open up, so. Oh, yeah, you Okay, so how to take your rendered animation from Maya and make a movie out of it to put on the internet. So in Adobe Premiere, we'll just make a new project. It doesn't matter what you call it. All right, so then we're going to go to your rendered frames out of Maya. So we did this with the render sequence using the Arnold render in Maya 2017. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is you get a sequence, which is your timeline. So right click and choose new item sequence. Again, it doesn't matter what you choose here. Now we have a timeline, and we're going to bring in another thing. So right click and import. And Jonathan's going to have to help me navigate to where this is. Documents. Uh, documents Maya Projects Default Images. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Documents Maya Project. Projects Default. Default Images. Images. Here we go. And that, uh, so this is where Maya Default rendered, rendered to with Arnold. We're going to choose the first image in the sequence. Make sure image sequence is checked and hit open. That's going to generate a, a clip of your sequence. See that? And then you can just drag that right over into your timeline. Here's the important part. You do not want to keep settings. You want to change them to match your sequence. All right, back into here. <clears throat> this is a very, very short animation. So there it is. All right, and then you just need to export it out. At this point, you could put in some music or titling or whatever else you want to do. But he just wants a short clip. So what we'll do, oops, let's go and right click on the sequence and choose Export Media. All right, so you could send this out as a GIF, but Jonathan has very specific settings I'm sure that he needs for Turbo Squid. So, who knows what they're asking for? Do you remember, Jonathan? It's a GIF. <laughs> it's a GIF? Okay. So we want to choose an animated GIF. And choose the resolution. So you would choose whatever resolution you wanted. Uh, you wanted 640 by 480. Or 1480 by 800. So basically, you just adjust these settings to match whatever it is you're trying to output it as. And then you just hit export. And that's going to generate the file for you. That's it. Thank you for watching.